What's up friends of the good mood? This is Manny and welcome to this old geezer Leo here. As a viewer request, you guys wanted to see the Leo played with maximum health and maximum damage here and that's what we're gonna do. But in order to not get fully slaughtered in the Champions League against meta robots with no defensive and offensive abilities, I put some last stand and some face shift on it. And uh, hopefully that will allow us to at least live a little longer and maybe fight back even against a leech robot and be a little bit dangerous, okay? Let's try and see if we can make it happen. Um, it's a moon map, alright? We're doing first beacon rush and then free for all. And I'm trying to run on uh, beacon first. Beacon rush first the, um, the Aochun just to fly in and get a beacon real fast. And after we've gotten a beacon, then we should be able to, uh, from there, you know, build on this. And, ah, come on. I'm falling. I'm not falling. I wanted to fall faster so I can attack this person here too, around the corner. But he's got to fight a lot of dudes on his own there. Do we have enemies underneath us? No, not yet. Okay, somebody's coming up here with a spider robot. Okay, here we go. Let's bring him down real quick. Let's get him killed. Uh, they were capturing our beacon back, though. That sucks. Another spider robot. Oh, and he was able to spawn in front of me now because uh, the other guy from underneath captured my beacon. That's great. Uh, if I could cap it back and spawn here, that would be amazing. Okay. You know what? Here comes another flight ability. That's good. I survived long enough to get another flight. Oh, wow. We have a lot of enemies here. And I am trying to capture this beacon in the meantime. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to succeed in that. No, because we have people underneath us still. So I'm not going to be able to capture this. What? Somebody, somebody or something killed? Oh, I did get it. Nice. Okay. So, where can we spawn to jump directly into a battle with a not, Leo? Because a Leo is too slow to walk to the enemy. We have to be on the enemy already. Right? We have to be on the enemy already at the beginning uh, of the combat. That means we have to kind of... Let's see if we can maybe... Be tricky about it here. Nah, they all noticed. <laughs> they all noticed. Alright. If I spawn here, that won't be able to do any good. I guess the best I can do is spawn here now. Underneath the bridge. And try and hurt these guys from here. Alright, they're face shifting, they're doing uh, leeching, they're doing shielding and everything. Nice, he's face shifting but he lost his, uh, his ability. Okay, nice, we got this guy, we got this guy, awesome. Let's face shift again. Okay, and now we're gonna get hit a lot here. And we're gonna lose our last stand here, okay. He's leeching somewhere. We've already lost a light weapon too. We can't capture the beacon, somebody's above us. We would be capturing the beacon otherwise. Oh nice, I'm getting healing from a tear robot, awesome. That is amazing. Thank you sir. And who is it? To, to my left somewhere. Okay, I'm face shifting in to get this guy hard when he comes out of this. No, we do still have our weapons. See how much damage I'm doing to this leech? I killed the entire leech real quick with this massive thing. Because it's not so easy to kill this fa uh, falcon. The falcon has a lot... Uh, no, sorry. Um, uh, the Leo has a lot of health. And as a result, he cannot so easily be killed uh, by the enemy. Oh, wow, is he, wow, is he fast. Unsa insane how fast he is. Come on, get locked, sir. Get locked. Uh, he wanted to defend the beacon. That was good for us. Okay. Fire and... Boom. Well, that was not really damage. That's not how we define damage in the world of war robots. Um, another f shot here and... Boom. Yeah, it's a falcon. You won't be really doing a lot of damage against a falcon. Uh, with the rockets. Okay, fire and boom. That was a better hit because he was perfectly standing still right there. He was being 100% stationary and he's locked right now. So, boom, another really good hit. 
That's a T Falcon, so you can tell he's got so much HP. Okay. It's going to be a bit difficult to get through this guy's resistance here for the moment. But we don't have to for a long time. I'm just going to wait for the resistance to end and then boom. The thermite does the rest. I think these guys are already dealing with him. Are they? Fire. Okay. I did hit something, but I didn't kill him, unfortunately. Trying to capture this beacon. Because they are doing... Oh, God! Uh-oh. That is bad, because we are locked now. We are locked in front of the, uh, the Titan with all his resistance-breaking abilities. Titan weapons now break resistance. That's the thing. So let's go for him here. Get him locked. Oh, he's face shifting, of course. And we're having six players in my team still. Where are those six players? That's unbelievable. Okay. A Titan is trying to slowly sneak through there. Boom, boom. And the next boom is gone. Boom, boom. All right, we have a uh, Ao Chun flying. Good, got this guy. Landing for a second so that the Ao Chun right there can't get me anymore. We know he wants to. He's face shifting now. He wants to get another stealth flight, that's the thing. His stealth, his last stand is now taking. And there was the got kill. Nice. Right before he could do this, the final stealth flight that he wanted, that he was waiting for it so much to, ke to get. Boom, boom. Nice. That Titan really doesn't stand much of a chance right there. Good, got him. Now he comes out. Boom, boom. Can't aim at him anymore. He's gone. Alright, so we did win this match, but it looked uh, a little bit close in the beginning here with a beacon. Look, they are, they are having much more beacon points than we have. So we they did a better jo job at capturing and taking beacons. Alright, so. Uh, yep. Decent amount of kills. We also got some kills with the Leo. Let's jump into free for all and test the Leo big time now, okay? All right, free for all here on, what's it called? On Valley, one of my favorite maps. We have an Ares behind us, it seems. And an Ares in front of, no, a leech robot behind us uh, in this other direction. I'm immediately locked because we can't have, maybe I can th go through his shield. No, unfortunately not. Face shifting now, but I'm done. Oh, now he is face shifting. Yeah, my kill. Ha! And now this guy, maybe? He... Did I get it? Or no, I didn't get it. Even though it looked like I may have gotten the kill. So we have to spawn in something else just so that we can get a couple more points. Let's do it here. Okay, let's get this hover. It's a quick and easy kill. Okay, and then maybe just reload the, the, the redeemers. So we can attack again with full strength. And after the Aochun, we should have enough points again for a nice... Um, that was to expect. This guy is currently leeching. Uh, he's walking back in safety, it seems. Okay, after this guy's last stand. Okay. Uh-oh, it's getting close here now. Ah, uh, he's got the leeching back already, okay. Ah, Nikes, okay. 
That could have gone a little bit better. But we got the kill because he, he thought he could just... What is, what's with this dude? What is this? You know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to get killed now. Can I hit this guy? Oh, corner shooting is awesome when the right weapon, the one that you need, is missing. So, Leo time, okay? Let's walk back in, see if we can hurt them a little bit. This guy seems to be taking a bit of damage. We are currently first, but I don't think we're going to have that for a very long time. Uh, we've uh, only gotten one kill with the Leo so far. And I told you, this is an old geezer. It's not competitive with these Champions League robots anymore. And I'm not even having the blessing to be able to spawn where the action is. I'm really far away from where the action is. So this guy, maybe he realizes it's a Leo and then he comes in. Thankfully, I wasn't getting locked yet. Okay, he, he rather goes where the possible kills are. Okay, I got him locked and killed. Nice. Now this guy. And boom. My kill. Nice. Now this guy, maybe. Yep. That's how it goes, dudes. Now this guy. Last standing on him. And come on. And boom, boom. Oh, what? Are you telling me he didn't... Uh, okay, he's reloading his weapons right now, so... He should be landing any moment now. That's it. Boom! Oh! Aha! <laughs> oh god, is this thing slow? Is this thing slow? Unbelievable. I think he just wanted to release my last stand. That's what he wanted to do. Uh, now my last stand is going down. And two of my wep- my, most of my weapons are currently not working because they're being blocked from the other side. Okay, no chance. No chance because he was able to get the last stand out for free here in, on me. Alright, walking back in. We just got a decent amount of kills. It was luck though uh, because the enemies were down on HP. I was able to come in from behind. And look how slow this thing is. Unbelievable. This Phantom was able to win because we had so low HP, right? If we've had more HP, um, then he couldn't have just activated the last stand with like two seconds or so of firing. Ugh, how long it takes us to get back in. I think this isn't, by the way, this isn't a bad map for the Leo here. Because in this central er center area here, you have people uh, fighting at short range. And that is exactly what the Leo wants. The Leo wants to fight at short, short range battles. Okay, we're having him down to last stand now. Okay, we're last standing, we're face shifting again. And after that, it should be time for this guy. Okay, got him. Now, he, oh my god, he hadn't, he didn't even have his leech ability used. He didn't even have to use his leech ability before. Wow. Okay, I thought he had, you know, I thought he had at least used his ability before. So that now he may not have it anymore. <laughs> I'm corner shooting with the Leo. Yeah. Don't mess with the Leo. So that's going to be an interesting fight. Because we have a lot of HP here. But the problem is he also has a lot of HP. Um... Okay, got him. Another phantom is coming in. Okay, this time he's got our... Again, it's... Again, he does the same thing that he did again uh, before. For free, he activated our last stand. But now I have him down to last stand too. See that? Oh, and I can't spawn in with a Leo anymore. Choosing the Titan here. Maybe I can get a quick free kill. Let's see. If I get in 500 meter range... And uh, there goes the possible kill. Uh, okay. That was close. Could have worked. I'm going for him. Because he's the guy with the, face uh, the, the last stand and face shift. I wonder how it's possible that this shot would, that did not count. That we just had. Again. The game is lagging. It, it, it's just, it's not even funny anymore. The way this game is lagging and behaving right now, it's not even funny.
So he's last standing now. He might go and try and do another phase shift in a second. But he didn't succeed in that. Or maybe he didn't try, I don't know. See, but this was a hit. I'm getting completely hit by every shot this guy does to this from the side here. This Titan right there, he's shooting me with everything he's got. I'm already losing heavy weapons. I don't think I can beat this person here anymore. But maybe I am getting... Uh, no, what? He already flies again. He's already back in the air. How is that possible? According to my time, that was maybe like a, a, a 12 second time window that I just had. And I'm gonna stay back here, regenerate my flight in, in all time. And then we can maybe respawn another time in the Leo. Okay. Ah, oh, that was close. I almost got this kill. If I had walked in a little bit faster, then I could have gotten this kill. Ah, I think he is right here around this corner. Okay. Now, Leo time, maybe? Ah, no, not enough points. Forget it. We couldn't spawn the Leo. So I'm gonna change. I'm gonna use the Spec Ops Falcon, a real annoying robot, because he can trick, trick you really hard with when it shoots these um, the thermite around the corner, and then and then you feel like ah, that's a good time to attack, but it's not actually a good time. So now we're flying up, okay. For some reason, they're both going for me. That's interesting. Uh huh. Even the sec, the player who's second goes for me. Yeah, they're not fighting each other. Uh huh. Okay. That's wonderful. All right. Here we go. He's trying to escape, knowing that the other person is going to kill me anyway, so right. Mm, okay. But it's okay. I uh, I had the first place, and this is just a result of what happens when uh, Pixonic decided to make the names appear in Free For All, which they shouldn't. It should have been Enemy 1, Enemy 2, Enemy 3, and not so that people can team up with you uh, against you or with you. Here we have two players from the M Clan who seem to have teamed up. Um, that's something you do, you don't have as much. I mean, it's still possible, but less likely to happen when you have the hidden names. And that's why it should be that way. I already sent this feedback in dozens of times. Still, we're running clear names in free for all, which makes it not free for all, but free to decide whom you're going to attack, but not really free for all. Free for all is a, is a name that suggests um, a ran, you know, kind of complete everybody versus everyone. Complete random who attacks whom. That's how it's supposed to be, right? And uh, you, you lose this completely by the fact that now names are showing up in the game. Uh, but yeah, so the Leo. What do you think, guys? Leo in free for all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really, right? And in Beacon Rush? Well, if you spawn on a beacon that is being attacked right now, then you can do something, but without that face shift or a last stand, ah. It's really, really kind of a torture to play this thing when you play against high-end meta machines. When you play against griffins and stuff, then it's better because then both robots, okay, one has a jump, but mm, they're both vulnerable to each other, you know, uh, and can attack and damage each other and not, you know, have stealth or resistance or whatever. And um, yeah, but I wanted to give you guys this viewer request, so uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys are awesome as always. Money signing off.